daydreamer, cat lover, New Yorker. On a fateful evening, her life changed drastically when she was mysteriously transported to the beautiful, treacherous land of Athia. Whoa. Frey arrives with a magical, sentient bracelet inexplicably wrapped around her arm. Oh, hello, yes. Then discovers she can cast powerful spells and use magic to swiftly traverse the sprawling landscapes. The last remnants of Athia's populace soon look to Frey as their only hope for confronting the Tantas, once benevolent matriarchs who now rule as maddened and evil sorceresses. Reluctant to help, but desperate to find a way back home, Frey sets off on a journey through this strange and dangerous land. The only safe haven in Athia is Sipal, where refugees have gathered to escape the mysterious corrupting force of the break. Some of Athia's inhabitants will have quests to give or information to share. Others are willing to trade for valuable goods. And Frey may even find a small friend to act as a guide. At this point in Frey's journey, she has returned to Sipal from the wilds after finding a rare piece of Advaha ore. In the right hands, this ore may prove to be most useful. Advaha ore, right? You've seen this stuff before? I've made armor out of it. For Tanta Sila, no less. Whoa, you made that armor? Does that mean you can do something cool with this stuff? I could, but I'd need the right tools. And where can I find those? In Prenost. Huh? Wait, aren't there any in town? I'll draw you a map and give you the key. You'll have to do the rest yourself. If you can bring them back, and that's a big if, I'll make you something with that aura of yours. Outside the safety of Sepal, the only life Frey will encounter are corrupted enemies looking to rip her limb from limb. Frey's combat spells make quick work of low-level enemies. And her magic-enhanced parkour abilities turn this inhospitable land into her personal playground. Treasure chests dot the landscapes and contain items used for crafting or trading with vendors back in Sepal. Mana is earned by leveling up but it can also be found in glowing pools around Athia. Collecting enough mana allows Frey to unlock new spells. With the help of her golden companion Cuff, Frey can scan belfries to reveal nearby points of interest before continuing her journey. This is the place on Johidi's map, isn't it? Are you planning on retrieving her smithing gear? Might as well while we're here. Besides, I want to know more about Sila and Johidi Noor. Well, as ever, it seems we have a few things to attend to first. <laughs> yeah, it looks that way. Let's break some heads. Looks like this is the place. Well, in we go. Damn, this stuff is heavy. The reassuring heft of Odvaha.
There is much to find in Athia, so exploring new locations before completing a quest is always worthwhile. A variety of rewards are waiting to be discovered or unlocked, including experience points, stat increases, bits of Athian lore, and new gear. This thing just screams prop. Why not try it on? While Frey is mysteriously immune to the corrupting influence of the break, nothing else in Athia can escape its grasp. Humans are turned into savage zombies and worse, while animals are mutated into dangerous beasts. Pilgrim's refuges are hideaways located in every part of Athia, and it's always a good idea to seek them out. Here, Frey can craft healing drafts, upgrade gear, and get some much-needed rest. Fully recharged and ready for the next step of her journey, Frey travels onward into the depths of corruption in Avoilette. The effects of the break are even more unmistakable here. And while Frey may be resistant to those effects, she will undoubtedly be pushed to her limits. This place is insane. numerous points of interest in her travels. Many of these landmarks and locations have been corrupted or overrun with corrupted enemies, but they're always worth seeking out. Well, this doesn't look good. Yes, something seems to have drawn the break here, but I expect you can clear it away with your panels. Give it a try. That's enough exploring for now. It's about time for Frey to head back to Sepal and deliver the smithing tools to Johiti. All done? What the hell is this? What did you expect? A full suit of armor? You'd have needed a damn sight more ore for that. No, I... It's cool, I just... Like it or lump it, that's the last bit of smithing I'll be doing for a while. Frey's journey will take her to the ends of this beautiful, cruel land. And in her search for a way home, she discovers something worth fighting for. Is that a cat? <laughs>